hear me out. Don't scroll. This is something you will want to know. Maybe you already know this. Maybe the Lord just revealed this to me, but it's something I have to share. The Lord worked through my husband to get to me to something that was very deep rooted within myself that I had no idea about. Isn't that how the Lord works? It's like, okay, if you're not going to listen to me, I'll use the ones you will listen to to get your attention. Well, here you go. See, when something bothers you and you don't even know it, that, that's me. Like, the longer that I let something bother me, it becomes a deep-rooted problem. Hear me out. No matter how small or insignificant or non-burdensome the problem may seem, this can still become deep-rooted. It turns into a deep-rooted burden that starts affecting the other relationships that I have in my life without even realizing it. So, for example, I could be offended by something that a friend did, even though I know that they didn't mean it that way. You can clearly see their heart. You can see their motive behind what they said or did. However, if someone else did that same thing to you previously, but they had ill intention, bad motive, bad heart, like they were low-key trying to send you a message, like indirectly, and that clearly hurt you, regardless of how you respond to it, and regardless if you shrug it off like, oh, this don't even hurt, like you can sit there and tell yourself like, Psh, whatever, but then you see that someone else just did the exact same thing to you, even though you know that their motives were pure, but it still bothers you. It, it replays in your mind. You can't shake it. It irks you. Chances are you've allowed the original person who meant harm to you to take root in you, that it becomes a trigger for anyone else who does this to you, even if their intentions were pure and you have the knowledge of that and you know that. That's what the Lord revealed to me. The Lord used my husband because I came to him with, you know, like, oh, this is bothering me. And it's like the Lord worked through him. And he was like, well, is there anyone else that does that, that has done that to you? And I'm like, the Lord helped me to see where the original deep-rooted offense started, which then created a trigger for anybody else who did that from that point on. So should I really be offended and hurt? Is my feelings valid for that person who meant well for that person who had good intention, a good heart, and meant no harm by doing that same exact thing, regardless of how in insignificant it was? No. It's not someone else's job to know what triggers you. It's our job to ask our Lord and Savior for help to find out the cause of that trigger so he can heal us from that, so he can help us through it. Because if we do not heal from that trigger, it's going to ruin every relationship that we have in the future. And most importantly, so we can forgive the person who actually was ill-intentioned, had a, a mean motive, bad heart. Yes, forgive them. Forgiveness equals being forgiven by our Heavenly Father. You can't slice the bread any other way. Because honestly, what does the Bible tell us? We wrestle not against flesh and blood. That person that hurt you, that meant you harm, that damaged you in some way, has a spirit in them that was sent to harm you, that was sent to discourage you, that was sent to cause emotional damage in your life. We are dealing with evil spirits all the day long. Rebuke the spirit within that person, but love that person. Forgive them. Because chances are, you've also had a spirit working through you, unbeknownst to you, to harm someone else. And I pray that you would want forgiveness for that as well. Anyways, I hope that this encourages you and I've learned a lot through this. It's been incredible. Um, the Lord always spins me right round. Love you guys. God bless.